The Tesla Cybertruck is a hotly anticipated product from the electric specialist, which, despite delays, should enter production in 2023. Post the Cybertruck project, Tesla will focus its synergies on the entry-level segment, but this time with a $25,000 electric car. Here's what you should know about the Tesla Model 2. First off, let's start with the name. While you might have read articles or watched other videos of a proposed Model 2, Elon Musk admitted at the company's 2021 annual shareholders meeting that he doesn't plan to use that name. Some reports claim the electric car would be called the Tesla Model Q, so for ease of reporting, let's call it the Model 2 or Model Q for this video. Another important thing to note is that the Model Q is also a delayed project. Owing to chip shortage, Tesla and other car makers are finding it difficult to produce their existing products, so future launches are impacted. In January 2022, Musk indicated that the Model Q will not debut anytime soon. Here's what Musk said at the company's full-year 2021 earnings call, which was held on January 26, 2022. Well, we're not currently working on our $25,000 car. At some point, we will, but we have enough on our plate right now, too much on our plate, frankly. Musk also placed emphasis on the fact that what really mattered for the car was when full autonomous driving capability would be possible, as that is when the cost of transport would significantly drop. We would think the Model Q will not be seen until 2025, in the very least. By the way, if you are liking this video so far, do consider subscribing to Top Electric SUV so you don't miss out on any of our future videos, and we sure do have a lot coming in. Given the entry-level price point of the vehicle, we think the Model Q, or the Model 2, will pack a new iron-based battery promising a long life cycle. This would be key for commercial operations too, as Tesla clearly indicates it would like to see the Model 2 being used in these applications. Iron is also more abundant than nickel, so Tesla would have fewer supply chain constraints when the vehicle enters mass production. The Tesla Model 3 and Model Y vehicles made in China have already shifted to these lithium iron phosphate or LFP battery cells. A 50 kilowatt hour battery with a range for 250 miles should help the Model Q meet its cost targets, yet appeal to consumers and commercial operators. The bulk of the production should be focused on a single motor drive unit, but that doesn't mean Tesla would shy away from a range topping all wheel drive, dual motor variant. However, we think the most significant feature could be the FSD, or full self driving capability, which should be attractively packaged into the cost. In terms of rivals, the Model Q should go up against the Renault 5, which is due in 2024. Another rival would be the Volkswagen entry-level electric car, which is confirmed for a 2025 launch. Tesla should use its gigafactories in Shanghai and Berlin to produce the Model 2 at scale. In China, Tesla will aim for 100% localization, which should further control the costs and see Tesla sticking to a $25,000 price point for this ambitious electric car. Do you think the Model 2, or the Model Q, will truly democratize electric vehicles and give gas vehicles a major reason to worry? Let us know what you think in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to Top Electric SUV.